We've got our first major pandemic primary in the books and our first significant test of the COVID era election system. So how did Florida do and what can we expect in November? Eight on your side, investigator Masa Saidi is live at the Hillsborough Supervisor, Supervisors of Elections office with that story. Uh, so far, so good. Is that safe to say? Yes, sort of, Jen. So we just found out that close to 1,200 mail ballots just arrived at the Supervisor of Elections office, and sadly, none of these will be counted. They all missed a deadline. Tonight, there's a new push to educate voters before November. There have been isolated challenges. A polling place in Pasco briefly lost power, as did several sites in Leon County. Secretary of State Laura Lee says statewide, the in-person turnout for Tuesday's primary was mostly trouble-free. Uh, we do anticipate that there will be much higher turnout at November's presidential election. A higher turnout with more Floridians turning to mail-in voting. Citrus election supervisor Susan Gill is hiring an extra worker to prepare for the surge. As for delivery of the ballots... We had some great cooperation from our post office. Gill says on Tuesday she saw a level of cooperation she hadn't seen in her 24 years on the job. They personally delivered from several different post offices in the county 80 additional ballots. I thought that was great. So, you know, they're really trying. And any ballots that get flown in on that last flight, they're contacting us and we're making arrangements to get those ballots. And Hernando supervisor Shirley Anderson is also strengthening her postal ties ahead of November all while she continues to educate voters about mail ballots. We had 151 people that sent their ballots in with no signature. We had 146 people that had a signature difference and 69 of those have returned cures already. Voters have until Thursday at 5 p.m. to cure or fix their ballots. On Friday, Eight on Your Side will get preliminary data about how many mail ballots were not counted across the Bay Area. Okay, so if you plan to vote by mail, you must, must sign the outside of the envelope. And again, guys, in Hernando County alone, close to 300 people had signature issues. If you ran into any problems during this election, please email me and let me know. Reporting live in Tampa, Muscle Society 8 on your side.